my example of composability actually is the current state of the integration with Metaplex. A token is the absolute interface between us and Metaplex, and that's the only interface. The single check is whether or not you have the token that allows you to mint this candy machine, and we just output that token. So we are a function that takes in some soul and outputs a token. They are a function that takes in a token and outputs an NFT. And actually, that's only the user interface that knows about it. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tobina and um, in this video we'll be looking at a few updates on the Solana blockchain. So this is a podcast from Strata and, and um, Strata Protocol and Metaplex. So um, um, we are talking about um, developing the Strata Protocol and uh, using the Metaplex um, studios and um, about launching um, tokens and um, creating um, dynamic mint price for NFTs. So um, let's just um, get started. Um, um, listen to a few uh, um, sessions on the podcast. All right. So, um, what is um, actually Strata Protocol, or what is um, what is it all about? And uh, let's hear from uh, the devs themselves. Let's go ahead and start out today with just an overview of Noah. What is Strata, and what are you guys trying to do in the space? So, Strata Protocol at its core is a protocol for launching tokens and managing the liquidity around those tokens. So we have a variety of different auction mechanisms, and we can launch tokens anywhere from small tokens that you don't really know who the counterparty of the trade is, there's not going to be much volume, all the way up to large tokens where you want to do a large offering and then you know eventually put those on a DEX. How we ended up getting into this space is just that our auction mechanisms for tokens also offer a solution for the NFT botting situation. So we thought long and hard about how to keep bots from botting the token launches that we have. And if you launch one of those tokens and then put it as the entry price to a candy machine, you get a dynamic pricing candy machine. So, all right. So um, that is about Strata Protocol um, for launching um, um, tokens on Solana um, Protocol, where you don't have to um, register at the Solana um, DEX registry. All right. So um, let's look at um, uh, more sessions on, on the uh, podcast. Right, so um, the idea was to make it easy to launch a token on Solana, as it is right now, to launch an NFT, which Metaplex has done uh, a great job of. All right, so um, about a year ago, when someone was trying to launch a token, there was lots of technical components in actually creating and launching that token. But you'd have to go and submit something to the Solana token registry, like I said. You would have to um, go and set up a permissionless pool or something like Serum. You'd have to go and try to get it verified actually, and then get it listed to show up on the on the um, listed token um, list, right? So this um, Strata protocol um, aims to make it easy and more free to create tokens, especially tokens, um, new tokens who uh, need very little liquidity and um, just want to start off as small as possible, all right? So um, that is one of the um, core missions of the Strata protocol um, with Metaplex and um, I make it very much easy to launch a token um, on Solana. All right. So um, on this um, Strata protocol and Metaplex, they also um, have this uh, um, innovation for NFTs where you um, set a dynamic means price for an, an NFT on main so um, to avoid bots, botting and um, make it a uh, Okay, and get a kind of um, average stable price for for um, your NFT mints. All right, so um, for the um, dynamic minting NFT says you just click a mint button, but the price is changing. So the price is just slowly ticking down, and occasion occasionally it bumps up when someone purchases something. And you can also switch tabs, and you can go and look at the price history plots. But as a user, you're trying to figure out at what points um, um, do you want to enter, at what price do you want to play. And bots are playing the same game, which is an unsolvable game. When you do enter, when do you enter a live market? There's a question that nobody knows the answer to. So it feels much like a normal means, just that the price is moving, and it's a game of who flinches first. All right. So um, this um protocol um of about NFT means tends to uh, uh um, create um a balance for um developers, NFT developers. In the case that you just um, kind of set a minimum price 
and um, a max price, all right? So when um, bo um, the system begins uh, being flooded by bots, you just have to um, put it, balance it as a, a stable average price, all right? So these um, are some of the important um, key developments from the podcast um, hosted by the Strata Protocol um, with, um, on Metaplex, all right? So um, let's move on to the next update on um, Solana. All right, this is um, from tweet from Sofer Wallet. It says, security is and always be our priority. And this is why we are excited to add support for Keystone Wallets. All right, a high security wallet, um, hardware wallet. All right, so um, send read on to see why it's just an awesome uh, and there's even a chance to win three Keystone devices. You can check the tweet later. All right, so let's um, go on to Keystone Wallets. Is a hardware wallet which has QR codes for seamless use, and you can sign what you see. It says, unlike most hardware wallets, you're probably familiar with um with Keystone's large display and camera allow for QR code transmissions, which drastically elevates security and user experience even further than Bluetooth or USB connections. Right? It says, seeing what you seeing what you sign may be the best way to counter phishing attacks and probably like blind signing. Um, so check out Keystone's blog post on this. Um, you can check out blogs, um, the blog post. All right. I will drop the link in the description. It doesn't look like this. And um, it says Keystone allows you to split your recovery phrase into three shares well, and any two of which can be used to reconstitute the entire phrase. And Keystone has pioneered, um, pioneered the um, hardware wallet industry the first open source wallets you can check up uh, the code on, on github uh, right so you can check up the code on github first move on that street and then find the link to um, the, the post on github finally to celebrate the launch um, they will be giving um a keystone wallet with three lucky winners all right so this is the tweet you can try your luck on this so keystone wallet is here and this is a tweet from uh, this is a tweet from software wallets all right so you can check this hardware wallet out and um from the look of it it has really really cool features all right so on to the next update on the solana uh what on um, blockchain you have um tweets from elusive wallets elusive protocol um about sending private transactions it says curious what sending private transactions will look like with the elusive privacy sdk then check out our latest demo so let's um uh, have a little view on the demo on about sending private transactions on the Solana blockchain um, to various wallets. All right, so um, this is really a, a, a cool innovation in Solana. And um, let's just look at the demo. The Elusive SDK integrated into an exam wallet. So let's just open the wallet and start right off. As with any wallet, we are able to log in using a password. Let's send some Solana and specify any amount we have already specified the recipient here and what stands out here is the fact that we're able to send it privately let's confirm the transaction and we'll see that there's an estimated transaction ready time now for the elusive protocol for the privacy protocol in order to break the link between the sender and the recipient there's a privacy delay which is going to be a bit longer in the beginning of the launch since volume and users is limited after the decay of the privacy delay you're able to finalize the transaction and the recipient will receive his money so for this transaction we're able to finalize it in about 25 seconds and once we finalized it, the recipient would receive his soul. This doesn't have to be done immediately. We can wait hours or days even and then come back. Now, in some instances, this might be a bit odd. Perhaps you're out with friends. Uh, you want to pay back your friend that just bought you lunch. Or you want to do something on chain immediately. Now, for this, we actually invented a thing called the private balance. Similar to a debit card, you're able to top it up, and once it's topped up, you're able to spend it right away without this uh, annoying privacy delay, which is going to be there, especially in the beginning of the launch. So you'll be able to top it up right here. But let's go back and finalize our initialized transaction, and let's check the wallet. 
372. It's gonna take a second before the relayer has confirmed it, and now we see something has happened here, and we see that the recipient indeed received the 0.15 Solana. All right, so um, that is for sending private um, transactions on the Solana blockchain. Get onto the Solana um, Solana price prediction and price history. You can see Solana is currently trading at um, $27 and um, uh, a few cents. All right, so um, there are speculations that the price of Solana will go all the way to uh, $10, $5, and this is not definitely not the bottom. Um, what do you think would be the fate of Solana? Um, having this current bearish market at hand, what do you think uh, will be the price of Solana in the coming weeks, in the coming months, and um, what do you think would be the next all time high for this story? All right, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And um, if you like me to make more reviews about blocked out of several blockchains, and you can also say that too in the comment section. Um, my name is Domina, and I'm glad to have you in this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on notification buttons for more and more videos on crypto, NFT, DeFi, blockchain reviews, and so much more. Once again, my name is Novena and I'd love to see you guys next time.